Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Thanks for stopping by. We've got a lot of stuff to get to today. And uh, well, let's go ahead and get to it. The first thing I want to start off today's video with is a very damning and mysterious alleged quote from the director of the astrophysics division at NASA. The man I'm talking about is a Mr. Paul Hertz. And, well, reports started going out that he was doing a recent off-the-cuff interview with someone. And part of his testimony actually got leaked online. Someone took a screenshot and posted it to a well-known image uploading website. And what he apparently says here has got a lot of people up in arms. So, again, this is Mr. Paul Hertz, the director of astrophysics division at NASA. And it looks as if he was having a conversation about the recent announcement about Jupiter's moon Europa and how they had found water spouts on it and how there is possibly an underground ocean beneath its icy outer surface. And so apparently he was having a conversation with someone and he said, and I quote, So again, no, we didn't discover aliens on Europa. This shouldn't come as a huge shock to anyone. We told you repeatedly that today's announcement wouldn't be about aliens, but every time we do one of these things in the press, inevitably, you guys think it's going to be about aliens. So let me tell you a little secret. NASA will literally never hold a press conference announcing that we've discovered aliens, because we're never going to discover aliens. Aliens are going to discover us, and when they do, it won't be pretty. You can take that to the bank. There certainly won't be enough time for a press conference about it. You probably won't even have time to blink. Just a hot white flash in the sky and then lights out. As far as the universe is concerned, relatively speaking, we're infants. Lord knows we act like it. I mean, you guys see the same garbage we do, right? Would you tolerate any of this if you were them? I know I wouldn't. Not even for a second. We're basically infants and when the adults show up, and they will show up sooner or later, it's game over. Best case scenario, we wipe ourselves off the face of the planet before they get a crack at us. You want an announcement about aliens? Here it is. Be careful what you wish for. If you guys knew even a fraction of what we do, you'd never sleep again. I promise you that. Very damning words if this alleged communication is valid. And again, you can check this out yourselves. I'll put the link to it down in the video description. Um, but out of this entire long-winded paragraph, what struck most people as being the most important is that we should be careful what we wish for and that if we knew what they knew, we would never sleep again. A very, very bold statement. Uh, and if true, is both exciting as well as a little disheartening. But again, this is just now breaking. We don't have any way to confirm whether this is actually true or not. I mean, it, it seems legitimate, and we have seen screen grabs of private conversations before being posted or leaked online. So uh, at present, this is all we have. So check it out yourselves. We'll try to get some more information on it. I mean, it certainly wouldn't be the first time that we have had testimony from employees of various space agencies, military personnel, and more that have given us some of the most astounding quotes and sound bites revealing the very legitimacy of this UFO phenomenon that we study. One of my favorite quotes goes back to President Harry S. Truman, who in 1950 stated, and I quote, I can assure you that flying saucers, given that they exist, are not constructed by any power on Earth. And I think this was a very revealing quote by President Truman back in the 50s, uh, just when we started to hear about these flying saucers, and that may have been true back in the 50s, uh, but today I'm not so sure. I believe we do have back-engineered craft, and a lot of them are man-made and are being tested by our very own government. Uh, lest we forget, though, that they were reverse engineered originally from an off-world craft. So, uh, again, let me know what you guys think about this new quote. 
Now we have some new UFO sightings, some strangeness both on and off the planet. Uh, first, I want you guys to check out these strange lights that were sighted over Charlotte, North Carolina. Check this out. Alright, so this was sent over by Joanne from Charlotte, who said in her email simply that she saw these strange lights when she was returning home from Charlotte to Raleigh. And so we have these strange lights here. Um, she had no idea what they were. And what I can notice from this footage is whatever these things are, they are extremely bright. Really bright. And again, we have another pair. We've been talking in our last couple of videos about these pairs of lights that we're seeing all over the world, which at some points will simply sit in the sky, inert, not moving. Other times, they're a bit more active, moving around, before either completely vanishing or jetting off at high speeds. So uh, anyone over Charlotte see these things, and from the looks of it, you couldn't miss them, uh, be sure to shoot me over an email, and big thanks to Joanne in Charlotte. Now for some strange sightings off of our planet, check out this new International Space Station footage that was discovered by a fellow UFO researcher and YouTuber StreetCap1 of a mysterious craft captured sitting above Earth's horizon line. So check this out. Alright, so another great capture by StreetCap1. Be sure to head over to his channel and like and subscribe to his stuff. He does some great work, has some great discoveries, including this here, uh, which you really had to have an eagle eye to catch this thing because it's not like the other UFOs that we've seen. I mean, they're plain as day when they do appear. And like many of those, we see this faint object appear very far away, right near the horizon line of the Earth, and directly after this thing appears, NASA cuts the feed. We get the famous blue screen that we're all used to when they don't want us to see these things after they show up. They have become experts at terminating these feeds under the disguise of signal loss, and they are getting quite fast. Uh, these days at cutting the feed whereas before it was very hit or miss but now it's like as soon as these things appear boom feed is cut they have definitely got somebody probably multiple people monitoring these cameras and so uh, we have here i mean in my opinion it looks like a triangular shaped craft um at least from the angle i can see again it was very far away and uh street cap did a real good job of enhancing it and really bringing out all the detail that he could. So, great footage. Let me know what you guys think. Speaking of triangular objects, we have another one. 
this time seen over the planet Mars in a new Curiosity rover image. So here is the original image. This was sent over to me by Tyler Jackson. Hey, what's up, Tyler? I really dig your name, buddy. Like that name. Um, sent over, and uh, he said he was going through images taken by the uh, Mars rover and found uh, what looked like a black triangle-shaped UFO uh, hovering or flying by the Martian surface. And so here is the original image here. Looks like the sun is going down. And if you take your attention over to the left side, just over these hills here, you see this black object. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. Here we're getting a little bit closer, and the object really starts to come into view. And this is definitely not a speck of dust on the lens. Uh, this object is only found in this particular photograph, so it's obviously moving very quickly over the surface. Let's zoom in even further. And here we are. This is the best shot we can get. And uh, I don't know, guys. Tell me what you think. This looks like a, a triangular, you know, Black Manta TR-3B style shape here. It looks like we're seeing the side of it here as it moves over these mountains. And, um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't get much clearer than that. I mean, as far as Mars rover images go. And although it's dark, so we're, we're not getting a lot of detail, we do have this very sharp, defined shape of this object, whatever it is. And I'd really like to hear NASA's explanation on it. I really would, but obviously that's not going to come. We have contacted NASA numerous times over various anomalous photographs and pieces of footage, and either we get no response, or we get a very canned response telling us that they are unable to comment further. So they've got their bases covered, and uh, I think this is an amazing catch. Big thanks to Tyler for sending this in. We have plenty of evidence of uh, activity over Mars. It's quite opposite of the dead planet that they would have us believe. A lot of activity happening there. So thanks again. Now, speaking on these people talking about alien activity, we have this leaked conversation we talked about at the beginning of the video. Uh, and we have another very prolific figure who has also come out once again recently talking about his views on the alien phenomenon, and that is the man himself, Stephen Hawking, who is warning us once again that he is still afraid of aliens and that we should be also. Now, if you don't know, Stephen Hawking is the world-renowned astrophysicist who, in 2010, came out and said that intelligent aliens may be a type of malevolent beings that we may not want to get in contact with. That they would possibly be a type of marauder uh, roaming the cosmos in search of resources to plunder and planets to conquer and colonize. And he is now reaffirming his concern in uh, a new documentary coming out. You're seeing a, a screen grab from that here uh, called Stephen Hawking's Favorite Places, which is now streaming on the Curiosity Stream video service. And in the documentary, he refers to the potentially habitable alien world known as Gleese 832C, where he says, and I quote, One day, we might receive a signal from a planet like this but we should be very wary of answering back. Meeting an advanced civilization could be like Native Americans encountering Christopher Columbus, and we all know that that did not turn out so well for the Indians. Now, of course, um, there are plenty of proponents and those who disagree with Mr. Hawking's stance on the alien question. And while I totally believe that it's possible that there are malevolent beings or races out there who would do harm to us if they stumbled upon our planet. My guess, and this is also corroborated by plenty of other astrophysicists who believe the same thing, uh, is that if there were advanced beings out there, and the evidence certainly shows that there are, uh, they would have long known about our planet's existence via the interception of our endless stream of radio and television signals that we've been beaming out into space for over a century now. And you've also got to remember that these beings who would be able to traverse space and light years and visit other planets, they would have to be so far advanced that they would likely have no need for war. They would not have the animalistic, ape-like tendencies of a premature race such as humans here on Earth. And you would have to think that they would have all but abandoned 
such things as war and malevolence in order for them to thrive for so long and to become so advanced. So when I think about this question, I'd have to say I do believe that they are watching us. I believe that they have likely intervened and I, I think that they have attempted to help us in the past. And if there were a malevolent race out there, I, I believe that they would have already conquered us and destroyed us a long time ago. Uh, but I sure would like to hear your guys' take on it. And if you think it's a good thing that we're trying to find out the truth and that we are trying to get in contact with an off-world entity. And if that's a good idea. So let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. And uh, one last thing before we end today's video. I want to give you guys an update on a story that we posted uh, in our last video. If you remember, we were talking about this breaking story of a flash of light seen over Northern Ireland. And there has been a lot of mixed information coming in since we first heard about this sighting. But if you didn't catch that last video, basically what has happened and what we know so far is that I got maybe at the very onset four or five different emails from people in Belfast who saw a strange flash of light in the sky. Now after this, there were reports of roads being blocked off by police, followed by a blackout of the cell phone reception and internet Wi-Fi in the local area to where this light was seen. And so we got a few emails, we also got sent a photograph. That photograph you're seeing here. And this is where things sort of get strange because we posted that photograph and I guess I probably should have done a little bit more digging. But this photograph here is actually from 2013. So whether the user who sent this to me was simply trying to use it as a demonstrative purpose as to what he saw or if it was an attempt at giving me disinformation. Because as I've been researching this and sort of digging into what has happened, I've been getting conflicting emails. It definitely feels like someone is trying to throw me off the scent of what happened here. And believe me, since I've posted this video, I've gotten about 10 more emails from people who have been trying to help out. People who said yes, they definitely saw a streak of light in the sky and that they did lose their internet for a short period of time, their Wi-Fi went out, some local roads were closed. Um, I was even sent by a viewer to the Armagh Observatory website where you can report fireballs, and there is a recent report that occurred on the 25th in Ballinur, which is a village in Northern Ireland, stating that a large fireball with a large orange and red tail was seen traveling from south to north. It says, and I quote, the fireball traveled at a level height across the sky, staying visible for approximately three seconds. No sound and didn't break up. I was facing west, interested to see if anyone else has seen it and what exactly it was. So we've had multiple reports on different days of seeing these strange flashes of light and fireballs over Northern Ireland, specifically Belfast. We've also seen some other reports over England as well, along with a police presence and roads being closed down for a period of time. Now, I am fully aware that Northern Ireland has been plagued for a very long time with civil unrest, car bombs, pipe bombs going off, uh, and there's a question if the initial reports we got were linked to a possible situation involving a bomb. Uh, however, from what I can gather, this flash of light that was seen was definitely in the skies over Belfast. Um, it happened very quickly, which may be the reason we, we really don't have any video or imagery of it. Because again, from what I can tell, it only lasted for a few seconds. It was very quick, but it did happen in the sky. I have reports of people losing their internet access as well as their cell phone uh, access for a few hours um, as well as seeing police scrambling in areas across Belfast. So again, I'm getting in a lot of information. I'm trying to decipher it all. Uh, some of it I have found is obvious disinfo. Um, something definitely happened here and I believe that someone is trying to muddy the waters to keep me from finding out what it is. 
but I've definitely spoken to multiple people who saw this flash of light. Um, but it's just very peculiar. Um, I, I, I have found that when you have people who are trying to inject misinformation to try to throw you off your research, um, that definitely tells you that you're on to something. So I'm definitely going to continue following it. If anybody has any new information, send it through and I will post on it accordingly and as I get it. Alright, so again, thanks to everybody for their continued emails, videos, and footage. Keep on sending it in. Let me know what you guys think about this newly leaked conversation from one of the top guys at NASA, the triangular UFO seen above Mars and above Earth, and these very bright lights over Charlotte. Let me know what you guys think. Alright, so thanks for stopping by. Hit that like button on your way out. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you all back very, very soon. Stay safe, guys. Thank you.